Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues and friends, it is my pleasure to join you here in Prague in the beautiful settings of Czerny Palace. I would like to thank the Czech government for organizing this conference. Republic of Croatia is pleased to be a member of the Alliance, working in coordination with like-minded countries to advance freedom of religion or belief. Those of us who have lived under the authoritarian regimes very well know how sacred fundamental rights and freedoms are and why it is necessary to come together to promote and protect those rights. As is known, the period after World War II in socialist Yugoslavia was marked with violence and repression towards all religious communities. Later, state authorities has resorted to softer, opportunistic methods, offering religious communities a collaboration under their conditions. All things considered, Yugoslavian religious policy were less extreme in terms of persecution and repression of religion in comparison to the Soviet Union. The more moderate regime was able to control the work of church organizations and to produce propaganda about the, the ostensible freedom of religion. With the collapse of communism in Europe, Yugoslavia dissolved. Democratic changes in the Republic of Croatia have led to accomplishment of religious freedom of belief for all. Ladies and gentlemen, Croatia promotes FORB through international development and cooperation. We believe that training and supporting the most vulnerable groups, women and children, should be part of any successful strategy. In that sense, we continue to grant scholarships for young students, Christians from Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. As a country that has recent first-hand war experience, we regret that destruction of places of worship is an ongoing practice worldwide. Promoting intercultural and interfaith dialogue inside and outside of the country is and will remain a high priority for Croatia. This year, Croatia took over presidency of the IRA. In this regard, we are deeply concerned of the emergence and spreading of antisemitism. Croatia emphasizes the preventing role of education in countering all forms of intolerance and hatred. Tolerance education on religion or belief can play a critical role in creating inclusive societies and religious plurality, as well as in preparing young generations to live in peace in our diverse world. However, for concrete results, more funds and long-term commitment are needed. Dear colleagues, Despite strong international legal framework, nowadays we are still witnessing a communist oppression, religious nationalism, or Islamic extremism in some parts of the world. Trends are worrying. Religious minorities face discrimination and advanced technological surveillance, exclusion, and systematic persecution that in some countries may constitute crimes against humanity. The abuse of religion to foster extremism is a universal phenomenon. There are groups and leaders who use religion to justify an extreme political agenda and validate violence against others. We all need to do more for improving the conditions for all religious minorities and to ensure their protections and very existence in some parts of the world. To conclude, we need new initiatives, collective efforts of governments, civil society, religious leaders, young people, and media to create deterrence and hopefully to prevent violent oppression. Thank you.